Snow White Part 2. In this video, you will learn these idioms. Make sure you stick around until the end because the last idiom is a game changer you won't want to miss. So let's begin. And the mirror answered as usual. Queen, Queen, all thy throne, Snow White the fairest thou must own. And the queen knew that Snow White had not been slain. So she sent for the hunter and made him confess that he had let Snow White go. And she made him leave no stone unturned. Leave no stone unturned means to do everything possible to find something or to solve a problem. The police left no stone unturned in their search for the missing child. And she made him leave no stone unturned beyond the forest till at last he brought back word to her that Snow White was dwelling in a little hut on the hill with some coal miners. Then the queen dressed herself up like an old woman and taking a poisoned comb with her went back the next day to the hut where Snow White was living. Now the dwarf had warned her not to open the door to anybody lest evil might befall her. And she found it very lonesome keeping always within doors when the queen disguised as an old woman showed up at the door. Showed up at the door means to arrive or appear at someone's door or home often unexpectedly. Example, just as we were about to eat dinner, my cousin showed up at the door. And she found it very lonesome keeping always within doors when the queen disguised as an old woman showed up at the door of the house, she knocked upon it with her stick. But Snow White called out from within, Who is there? Go away. I must not let anybody come in. All right, answered the queen. If you can come to the window, we can have a little chat there and I can show you my wares. And she found it so when Snow White came to the window, the queen said, Oh, what beautiful black hair. You ought to have a comb to bind it up. And she showed her the comb she had brought with her. But Snow White said, I have no money and cannot afford to buy so fine a comb. And then the queen said, There is no matter. Perhaps you have something golden that you can give me in exchange. And Snow White thought of a golden ring that her father had given to her and offered it to give for the comb. The queen took it and gave Snow White the comb and bid her farewell. <laughs> bid her farewell means to say goodbye to someone often in a formal or emotional manner. Example, the whole family gathered at the airport to bid her farewell as she left for her studies abroad. And she found it. The queen took it and gave Snow White the comb and bid her farewell and went back to the palace, Snow White lost no time in going to the mirror and binding up her hair and putting the comb into it. But it had scarcely been in her hair a few minutes when she fell down like a ton of bricks. Like a ton of bricks means to be suddenly and heavily affected by something, especially a shocking or surprising revelation or event. Example. The news of his sudden resignation hit me like a ton of bricks. But it had scarcely been in her hair a few minutes when she fell down like a ton of bricks and all the blood left her cheeks and she was no white indeed. When the dwarves came home that evening, they were surprised to find that the table was not spread for them. And looking about, they soon found Snow White lying upon the ground as if she were dead. But one of them listened to her heart and said, she lives, she lives. And they began to consider what caused Snow White to fall into such a swoon. They soon found the comb and when they took it out, Snow White soon opened her eyes and became as lively as she ever was before. Next morning, the queen went to the mirror on the wall and said to it, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of us all? Then the mirror said as before, Queen, queen, on thy throne. Snow White the fairest, thou must own. Then the queen knew that something had happened to the comb, and that Snow White was still alive. So she dressed herself once more as an old woman and took with her a poisoned ribbon and went to the hut of the sea dwarfs. And when she got there, she knocked at the door, but Snow White called out, You cannot enter, I must not open the door. 
Then as before, the queen called out in reply, Then come to the window and you can see my wares. When Snow White came to the window, the queen said, You are looking more beautiful than ever. But how unbecomingly you arrange your hair. Do you, did you use that comb I gave you yesterday? Yes, indeed, said Snow White, and I fell into a swoon because of it. I am afraid there is something the matter with it. No, no, that cannot be, said the queen. There must be some mistake. But if you cannot use the comb, I will let you have this pretty ribbon instead. And she held out the poisoned ribbon. Snow White took it, and after the old woman, as she thought she was, had gone away, Snow White went to the mirror and tied up her ear with a piece of ribbon, but scarcely had she done so when she kicked the bucket. Kick the bucket, colloquial and somewhat humorous way to say someone has died. Example, I just heard that the oldest tree in the park finally kicked the bucket during the last storm. Snow White went to the mirror and tied up her hair with a piece of ribbon, but scarcely had she done so when she kicked the bucket. To be continued. In this video, you have learned these idioms, so keep revising these frequently.